Hey guys, this is Adam over at Guitar Showcase. Uh, I just wanted to take a minute to talk to you guys about the DL1608, Mackie's new iPad mixer. Uh, first thing I'd like to note is the small body. In just about a foot by a foot and a half, we've got 16 independent microphone inputs and 6 auxiliary sends. Uh, let's take a closer look. So you'll notice, right, up, right upon first look, the iPad app that it shows has eight channels on the first page, but I simply swipe over and I've got the last eight channels as well as my reverb and delay and a separate channel for my iTunes for any songs that I have in my iTunes playlist on my iPad. Uh, so I don't need a dedicated channel for the iPad, for the iTunes. I, I don't need an iPod, I don't need a CD player, I simply just turn up the volume on my iPad mix and there you go. Uh, let's take a closer look at some of the channels, at the features of some of the channels. First off, you'll notice we've got an LED readout for every single channel. I simply turn up the volume, check one, check two, and there I am. Uh, the, the next thing you might notice is that there's a mute tab. So I simply quickly can mute any channel that I wish, or I can solo any channel that I wish. At the bottom of the channel screen, you'll notice that there is a little tab that says channel 1. Well, I can name that whatever name I prefer. We'll just go ahead and name that Adam, because that's me. Not only can I name that little spot, but if I want to quickly identify what kind of channel it is, whether it's a guitar or a drum or a keyboard channel, simply press it, select image, select icon, and I can select whatever I want. If I want it to be a person, just a person, so it's a vocalist now. I can also select whether I want it to be a male or female or a choir. If that's not good enough, we can also choose any photo that you might have in your library on your iPad. And there you go. Uh, looking at the top of the screen, you'll notice there is a little dial here in which I can pan my channel to the left or to the right. Always a great feature for imaging and live sounds. And I have a little graphic EQ tab that I can press. When I press that, I, it's not a graphic EQ, I apologize. It, it's a parametric EQ laid out in a very graphic way. So if I wish, to, I have a high pass filter, oh, great for vocals. If there's frequencies that I just don't wish to have, you know, I can simply drag this high pass filter over and everything below that frequency is now eliminated. Uh, beyond that, I can simply, I've got four different points in which I can choose a frequency that I can cut or I can boost. I can also select the bandwidth however I choose. If I want a very wide bandwidth or a very na narrow bandwidth, I simply select, simply drag and drop this dial over here. I've got a very narrow bandwidth or I can widen it out if I like. A quick swipe gets me to the compression page. Here I've got a gate and a compressor, which I can easily turn off if you don't feel that you need compression or gate on your channel. Sometimes people don't like it. You can simply turn them off. If you do feel that you want them, you can simply turn them on and you can drag and drop the graphic compression or dial it however you like in a new, with a numerical value. One more quick swipe gets me to the effects page. The effects page has two different effects processors that I can use for every single channel. Uh, I have a reverb and I have a delay and I can choose what kind of reverbs I wish to have and what kind of delay I wish to have. And I simply Turn up the volume of how much uh, of my signal that I want to send to the processor and then how much I want to come back. Okay, so check one, check two, and there's my reverb. Now, it doesn't work just for vocals. I've got 16 microphone inputs here, but also the last four channels are line inputs. So if I care to have uh, electronic drums or keyboards or anything else that would, that would connect through a quarter inch connection um, and would not require a preamp, uh, such as a guitar, for example, 
on my 16th track here channel I've got a guitar and I can adjust the volume of that the effects apply the same to the guitar track as they do to the vocal tracks I can quickly name this and add an image I accidentally selected bass but that's okay uh, also, it, like I said, it has auxiliary sends. So to control my outputs, to control the volumes of how much each channel uh, that I want to send out to each auxiliary, on the right side of the screen, you see I can simply select whatever aux send I want. In this case, they selected the second aux send. So now I can turn up any channel however I want to go to that aux send, and then turn up that aux send, the main output to that aux send. Uh, and then, of course, I've got my reverb and delay volumes and my left and right volume. Uh, and, of course, there's panning on each one of these as well. Uh, if I want, not only do I have signal processing on all these inputs, but I also have a graphic EQ on every single output. Simply select whatever output I want to go to and press the graphic EQ knob and I can create a graphic EQ for each and every output. In this case, I am selecting my graphic EQ for the auxiliary three output. I can simply select a frequency and cut or boost it to my discretion. Or if I think I just want a general EQ setting, I can simply press draw and I can quickly do a clean swipe and draw a general EQ curve that I wish to have. Uh, a couple other features and simply press mixer to go back. A couple other features that I might have is a snapshot feature. Snapshot feature, once I've significantly figured out exactly how I want my mix to be and I know that I'm going to come back and use this band at this venue again, I can simply create a new snapshot by selecting new naming it and I've got a new preset just select the preset press recall say yes and I've got my I've got my setting nice and easy a couple other features there is a Ethernet connection on the back that can go out to a router for remote mixing I can simply take my iPad and disconnect it as long as my iPad is, is wirelessly connected to the router, just take my iPad and I can walk around the venue and find some spots that I might think needs a little tweaking if, if you know, and then once I'm done with that, bring it back, set it in, and go back to business. Uh, final feature, I've got, if you press on the, on the left and right tab, I've got the record function. Simply press the record function and I can record a stereo track of the entire gig put it onto disc, put it onto a thumb drive, and I can give it to my bandmates and they can listen to it, and we've got ourselves a live kick. So that's the features of the DL1608. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope it was helpful. Uh, please subscribe to Showcase Music Magazine or stop on by. I hope to see you guys soon. Thanks a lot.